Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is a channel strictly for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope you are all doing well. Um, there are links in the description box below if you would like to get a personal reading with me. Um, all right, Virgo, let's get right into your reading. So the past position, we have the Eight of Cups, the King of Wands, and the King of Swords. Okay, Virgo. Were you dealing with two people that maybe you walked away from? A uh, fire sign and an air sign. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Present position. We have the Page of Swords, <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles, and the Moon. And the future, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Tower. All right, let's take a look here. Um, I'm going to see what the Romance Angels have to say. The overall love messages for Virgo. Romance Angels love messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Well, engagement, same as yesterday. Your love life is, is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. Oh my gosh, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And the saga continues from yesterday. What else, Spirit, what else does Virgo need to know? What other love message do you have for Virgo? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. So... I was just having a, a quick moment about some message that came to me that there was something in the past, Virgo. Um, either you walked away from two people or your person. Now, this may not be for all of you, but your person may have left your relationship for a same-sex relationship, okay? And if you... Are, I like I, I really don't know who this message is for but I'm just kind of picking this up um, there might have been a same-sex thing going on in the past that either you did or you didn't know about that your person was kind of like ascending into a committed relationship with this person now the other message i'm getting for some of you others that your person was on that journey and they've walked away from it okay and a secondary message or a third message i'm getting is that it was something there's two brothers who left together um in a sense like went on some kind of journey together um, or your person left to go be with their brother okay very strange message or to go help a friend or uh, be with a friend and just kind of like it, it feels like it was like a temporary thing that it was like all right well I have to go take care of this thing right now um, you know maybe they went on a retreat okay something strange like that um so take it as it resonates okay but i want to pull a clarifying card for this king of wands seven of pentacles and the king of swords yep five of cups so virgo um Yep, Nine of Cups sitting on the Eight of Cups. You're, this person, whoever you were connecting with, um, I do feel like there was some kind of relationship with someone of the same sex. And um, I feel like your person um, or two people of the same sex, right? 
that maybe they were might have been a bisexual relationship okay for some of you um for others who are in same-sex relationships i feel like your person might have been involved with you and somebody else but then they they walked away because this person whomever they were i know some of you this is not going to resonate so if it doesn't <laughs> then you know click off the video and come back tomorrow but um i feel like this is a message for someone that your person left because they were on a mission to go find their their get their needs fulfilled or met and i feel like they might have dabbled a little bit in a if if they are heterosexual they might have dabbled a little in a same-sex connection and that seems like it didn't work okay <sighs> I almost feel like I want to start this reading over and do something else here, but I feel like I'm just going to leave that portion there. Um, for the rest of you, I just feel like you had two options in the past and you weren't, you were kind of hesitant with a fire sign and something ended with an air sign. And I just kind of feel like your wish in the past was to find someone who's interested in a committed relationship. And I feel like these two people maybe just weren't going to fit the bill in the past, okay? But we're going to move right on to the present because I feel like, and usually when I do this reading, I'm looking at the other person, but I'm picking up, this is like your energy. And I feel like, right now um there's a lot of confusion with somebody right now that you might be dealing with currently in your life and there is a really strong need to have a heart to heart conversation now if there was something in like yesterday like it continues okay there may be a continuation of these conversations if it happened yesterday but i feel like there's somebody here who's kind of keeping their eye on you and they really want to talk to you about a committed relationship but with the moon this person they are trying to seek clarity and i feel like they will be seeking clarity from you because i kind of feel virgo that you're really not opening up and sharing anything at this time i feel like you've kind of you know gone into the dark you're kind of like <clears throat> not really out there putting anything out there at the in the present um the moon kind of makes me feel like you are just really going within and trying to trust your intuition and i feel like you've got somebody here who's seeking you or looking for you because they want to talk to you like this person wants to open up they want to get the truth and they want to give you some truth Okay, they're very curious about you at this time. Okay, we have the Empress. So for some of you, it could be a Libra. Okay, but also they're looking at you. Some of you might be on the cusp of Virgo Libra, but this person is, is trying to find out, tell you the truth, um, and the truth being that you truly are everything that they ever dreamed of. Okay, you possess all the elements. Um It's kind of like a well being well rounded, you know. You have your your creativity, you have your intellect, your physical beauty and attraction, and the way you attract, and your emotion uh, stable in your emotions here. And I feel like this person wants to talk to you and express this to you, like their deepest feelings about how they feel about you, and also about yep, marriage commitment, the Ten of Pentacles here okay stability maybe buying a home together or um you know just kind of getting into this because the ten of pentacles i always feel like there's real estate something here with real estate but uh, it's like i feel like this person you know they want to talk about getting involved now if it wasn't a same sex thing in the past your person might have been just dating other people and in the past have walked away from that because they do want to get into a higher level they wanted to get into a higher level of commitment they may have been also thinking that you were involved with others 
and they left the relationship. Okay, um, but now in the present, they're coming to talk to you. The moon is Piscean energy. So you could be connecting with a Pisces. Okay, yeah, two of swords is here. I just feel like that's you and your energy. You're kind of, you're just like blocking. You're not showing yourself. You're nowhere to be found. Even if you are, you're just not saying anything. And I feel like that's pulling that person to become more curious about you and to really begin to see how much they truly value you. Okay, but with the two of swords, it's like you're like in this process now of trying to really go deep within and check to see how you feel and even like what your intuition tells you about love in general. What do you want? I'm just seeing that scene from the notebook where Noah says to Allie, what do you want? What do you want? It's like you're asking yourself now, what do you want out of your life? What do you want out of love? You know, it. And I don't really feel like you're basing it on your emotions. Um, you're just kind of like trying to like get in touch with your soul and trying to, it's like gain clarity. Do you want someone from your past back? Is there someone you're currently talking to? Do you want this person back? You know, you're trying to kind of shine a light on the truth of how you truly feel. Some of you may, um, be inspired to come to this because some of you are getting some messages in your dreams you're waking up you're getting the you're remembering your dreams and you're like what is going on there and that the dream state is always the subconscious that's the undercurrent that's the thing that just kind of is hidden and i feel like you're really like purposely not talking to anybody or not trying to get any kind of influence visual influences you got your your eyes covered and you're closing your eyes and you're trying to remember that dream last night that you had and what that means and what your dreams are trying to tell you. Some of you are coming to terms and you're like, I'm not even sure if I want the same thing that I wanted before, you know, so a lot of, um, a lot of seeking truth. Some of you have been seeking truth about yourselves. And even saying to yourselves, you know, am I really the Empress? You know, the Empress doesn't, even though it's Venus ruled, um, the Empress represents all of the elements, okay? She's like the queen of all the queens. And, you know, of course, if you're male, that can apply in your feminine energy as well. But she represents abundance and um, creation and new beginnings. So you're really, some of you are just having this heart to heart conversation with yourselves. Okay. Um, and or both situations are occurring. Now, in the future, you've got attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I feel like I want to tell you, Virgo, that you don't need to seek love, you don't need to go on Tinder or Bumble or you know, all those dating sites and try to like seek out love. Um, because the more you seek it, the less you find it. I feel like all you need to do is stay present and just attract love to you by being love, by enjoying your life, by fully embracing yourself. And look how this woman, you know, she probably was just out in her garden smelling the flowers and truly appreciating the beauty and the gifts that God has placed before us here in this world, you know? And that is very attractive because she is just truly feeling and enjoying and loving everything. And she's not, she's just appreciating, you know, and she's really in her element. And I feel like you're taking on this Queen of Swords energy going forward where you really come to a place Virgo, where you just become completely self-sufficient and you get totally honest with yourself. And because of all that, going forward, there's some shocking communication that comes to you from someone in particular, okay? There may even be like messages about traveling, um, comes in very quick, or somebody might be just showing up at your door and like bringing you good news and this person, um, is ready to take action and ready to make changes. 
make some changes. Let's take a look here at the Queen of Swords. Okay, the moon again. Yep, you're cutting through the darkness. And you're taking control of that moon energy where you're not going to let it rule you. Okay, you're, you're gaining clarity. You've gained it going forward. Um, and you refuse to be in the dark anymore about things or even fool yourself um, or believe that, that the shadows on the wall are more than just shadows. You really take a cold, hard look at things. You know, you, you look at the shadow on your wall and instead of saying to yourself, oh my gosh, is that a monster? You say, no, it's just my jacket hanging on the door. And then you go back to sleep. Like you're just being very logical, but also enjoying your life going forward um, because you take the time here. Um, because I do feel like someone's going to try to talk to you, but I, I feel like in the present, you know, there's a heart to heart discussion of emotions and feelings but just kind of feel like I don't know if you trust it when it comes in or if you need to seek more clarity um, or if you just kind of block or you just don't engage in that conversation you might but there might be something about it that you just need to get clarity on first and I feel like you do get it you do get it now the eight of wands right somebody's coming in nine of wands here they're so stressed I feel like this person is crazy attracted to you you know they want that romantic loving relationship with you and they're having nightmares this person and i feel like they need for them they need to put a stop to this they have like some grief going on here you know this person's got a lot of anxiety maybe even a bit depressed and they just want to come towards you and you know really come towards you not just have that conversation um, not just come in and tell you the truth because I do feel like they do come in with some truth for you. They do tell you the truth, what they say to you. You're just not fully, you just have your doubts, maybe because it was a stalemate situation um, and you might be fearful. The moon can be about fear, um, fearful that it will remain that way, but I feel like this person is just going to come in and shock you and be like totally just... <laughs> really telling you how they feel what they want okay and the page of swords is back again with this tower it's like boom it's boom it's a boom it's a boom coming out of the blue just comes out of the blue okay so be prepared <laughs> virgo let's get a couple of love messages to see what else spirit wants you to know, Virgo? I pretend you don't mean that much. Okay, this person not talking to you. It feels like if you guys aren't communicating, it feels like you don't mean anything to them because they're not reaching out, but you need to know that they, your person is like pretending. Uh, or that's what they have been doing, just pretending that you don't mean that much to them. But if they have to hide it, it's because you do. If this person has to block you and stop talking to you, and you haven't been like crazy stalking them or being like a lunatic, <laughs> if they are just not talking to you, it's because they have tremendously deep feelings for you. And... They just don't know what to say and they don't want you to reject them. And I feel like you need to know that because if they're just truly your friend um, and everything's, you know, friends go through moments, <laughs> but if they're truly just your friend, you know, or like someone who doesn't really have deep feelings for you, then there won't be a problem to block you and they won't need to not talk to you, okay? Um, but you feel like they're doing it on purpose and um, they are. They're being pretentious as if it's not bothering, something's not bothering them. But they do want to tell you how they feel about you. <laughs> well, I'm so attracted to you, Virgo, for sure. Still, that's right here. They will wait for a sign from you. But Virgo, I think you're giving them a sign. And your sign is that you're not chasing them down. 
you're just leaving this person be and your thing is well when they're ready to talk to me they will and then we will talk and then you're going about your life smelling the flowers <laughs> this person cannot stop thinking about you and yes i was saying that the nine of swords is here they're having nightmares <laughs> Just things are bubbling up to the surface, or they will be um, bubbling up to the surface. Memories, I feel like. I am different now. So this person's definitely going through a dark night of the soul, making changes. The attraction you feel is mutual. There is chemistry here for sure, but it's been very difficult. I know I made a mistake, they would tell you. And I feel like they're going to admit that to you, that maybe pretending that you don't mean that much is a, it was a mistake. Right now, firm boundaries are needed, Virgo, because I do feel like you have, it, you know, boundaries does not mean being cruel. Boundaries is kind of just like saying, uh, no, thank you. That does not make me feel comfortable. Um, you know, it's just, it's standing up for yourself, standing your ground, but not being cruel about it it's basically just saying i appreciate the offer but i don't feel comfortable doing that i'm just giving an example right it's not anything other than that it's just being true to yourself an external party is intruding on this relationship okay some of you do have some interference now an external party it doesn't say a person. It could be if you know for a fact that that's your story. For others, it could be work. It could be really just anything. It doesn't have to be a person. It could be a place or a thing. And that's just everything in the world, you know? This person maybe just binge watches Netflix too much and doesn't have time to talk to you. Or they work too much, and that's a priority. Um or there's children involved that takes up someone's time okay um so there inter there is some type of an interference but also there's acceptance everything happens for a reason and virgo i feel like you need to know that what you're going through at this time with a particular person if there's someone in your life there's a reason and a purpose for all of this and you might be trying to discover that and you may find out going forward why you two came together um sometimes sometimes it could be that um they were there to teach you something but sometimes it could be that you were there to teach them something right so um it's kind of like some of you Virgos just have this great insight and some of you really were brought together with this person to help them grow or to teach them things by way of your love. And um, growth is, growth is, it can be difficult, like going to the gym when you get a trainer, you know, they, you really get excited about it because you know what's going to happen and how it's, the outcome is going to be. But the process of going through that is exhausting. And you may get frustrated with your coach because, or your teacher for whatever, because they're putting you through a series of tests or you're going through a series of tests. And no one said that it would be easy, but you know, there's no gain if there's no pain sometimes. And you know, it may not be because it's an absolute love relationship. It could just be that there are some lessons here, not just for you, but for your person that you're both learning from one another. However, this is a love relationship. And I do feel like it's, this is like a snapshot of the process that you guys are going through. You know, um, I'm not seeing like major commitment here i'm just seeing that there needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and you need to come to terms with is this what you want for your life when these, this communication comes out because i feel like you may have been fooling yourself in a lot of ways um that you do love this person but maybe now you're not sure if this is what you want long term with this person um i feel like your person may want this with you 
but there has to when that conversation comes i think you'll gain clarity um but with the eight of wands i do feel like they feel like they don't want to be without you permanently so we'll just see how the energy plays out tomorrow um sometimes the readings can be a continuation of the one before and other times they're just completely separate from everything all right so i hope you enjoyed all this virgo and i will see you very soon make sure you hit like share and subscribe thank you bye